crocodiles are among the toughest animals in the world. There's a reason why Captain Hook is so scared of them, but there are actually a few beasts who can go tooth to tooth against these water-dwelling reptiles. These are animals that could defeat a crocodile. Number 15. Leopard The leopard is one of Africa's greatest predators. Although there are also leopard species living in various parts of Asia and the Middle East, these big cats are part of the Panthera genus, which includes their close relatives lions as well as tigers, jaguars, and snow leopards. They are solitary animals that usually preside over a pretty big territory, not tolerating other leopards coming within almost a mile of their own space. They're excellent tree climbers, and they use this skill when hunting, dragging their prey up trees to keep it away from other scavengers. They can drag prey heavier than themselves up a tree, and have been known to take down and kill giraffes, and even huge antelopes weighing 2,000 pounds at times. So there's no doubt this is one powerful cat. But how does it fare against the crocodile? Crocodiles and leopards don't usually cross paths too often, since leopards hate water, unlike lions, but now and then they will compete over a zebra carcass and even fight to the death. These animals will eat one another given half the chance. If a leopard can get its jaws around a croc's head, the croc is done for. But crocodiles equally have been recorded killing leopards. So this is pretty even. A leopard certainly is capable, but boy, is it a risky move. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Jaguar Far away from Africa is an animal which is often mistaken for a leopard, since it has very similar markings on its fur. However, there are some important differences between leopards and the jungle cat we know as the jaguar. The jaguar is bigger and heavier, and most importantly, the jaguar has the strongest bite force of any big cat. Unlike its cousins back in the old world, jaguars don't waste time with strangulation. They just use their massive jaws to bite right through the skull and pierce the brain, causing instant death. On top of all this, these cats are specialist hunters of crocodilians, and regularly feast on caimans, and have even been known to take down American crocodiles on rare occasions. And it's not only on land that the jaguar has an advantage, they can even easily take down a caiman in the water, since they are excellent swimmers. Once that 2000 psi bite force is going into the croc's head, there's just no coming back. The jaguar has a immense stamina, stealthy tracking ability, and raw strength. Nothing messes with a jaguar. This time, there's no question, the big cat wins. Number 13. Lion Well, we've started on the big cats, so let's see how some of the other family members stack up. The king of the jungle, the lion, how will it do against the crocodiles that it lives with day in, day out? Lions, unlike leopards, are social animals and live in prides, which is unique among cat species, so it's rare that a lion ever fights alone. The big cats always roll deep. But if a lion found itself up against a crocodile alone, it would be a close-run thing. If the crocodile manages to get a bite around the lion, it might then be able to drag the cat into the water, and then things could get pretty rough for the lion. However, lions are no easy catch, and they are renowned across the world for their incredible heart and stamina. Once a lion gets into a fight, it simply will never say die. The huge mane and powerful roar are extremely intimidating, and the massive paws can inflict serious damage. If the lion can get on the croc's back or get a bite into its underside, the lion might just be able to do the job. Number 12. Tiger 
Let's round off the big cats with the biggest of them all, the tiger. Although tigers and lions are related, these two could not be more different. Tigers are solitary animals and are masters of stealthy predation, which is accompanied by immense strength and bite force, which also exceeds that of a lion. Tigers are also more intelligent and calculating. They would prefer to leave a fight that could hurt them, rather than just continue for the sake of it. So in all likelihood, a tiger would probably leave a croc alone if it encountered one. But sometimes a tiger just has no choice other than to fight. And this is almost certainly bad news for the dumb croc who thought he'd spotted a big yellow zebra. Even in the water, a tiger has the jewels to swim right out and snatch food from a croc. And on land, the mighty tiger would give the reptile no chance. Power, intelligence, unbelievable agility and a bite that could crush a crocodile's skull. The tiger truly is the boss. A famous Indian tigress named Mashli even became famous as something of a specialist crocodile hunter. Don't mess with Mashli or any other tiger for that matter. Number 11. Hippo if you ask most people what the most dangerous animal in Africa is, hardly anyone would say the hippo. And they would be correct, because it is in fact the mosquito. But if we discount flying critters, which carry terrifying diseases, then the hippo is the most terrifying piece of fauna on the whole continent, and maybe even in the entire world. These massive beasts can weigh up to 4,000 pounds, which is more than double the weight of a crocodile. Hippos are neither predators nor carnivores, but they are some of the most aggressive animals out there, and when they attack, things can get nasty quickly. The jaws are utterly huge and can open to almost 180 degrees, while the four massive tusk-like teeth apply crushing pressure that would be enough to bite a human being in half in one attempt. And even a crocodile would have little hope escaping from a full-on hippo attack. In truth, these two animals often live together pretty harmoniously. The crocs know that it's not worth their trouble trying to take on a hippo unless they can sneak a bite of a baby one, and they don't otherwise compete for food. Only the occasional grumpy individual will break this unusual code of honor among these big beasts. And when that happens, it's usually the hippo who comes out on top. Number 10. Hyena the hyena is a very misunderstood animal. They have a pretty bad reputation for a start, often portrayed as evil and cunning, but they are in fact extremely intelligent animals who live in complex social groups. Some people believe hyenas are a kind of dog, but they are not related to dogs at all, and are in fact more closely related to cats. It is true that their behavior is more dog-like, however. Furthermore, hyenas are not only scavengers, but are also excellent hunters, making this adaptable animal one of the most successful and efficient predators in the world. But could a hyena kill a crocodile? As usual, in the water, there's not much that can trouble a crocodile, but on land, a hyena would stand a chance. If it operated as usual, fighting bravely as part of a group, then a pack of hungry hyenas could rip a croc to shreds. Their 1,100 psi bite force is enough to crush bones and chew them up. Alone, a hyena would have to use all its agility and skill to take a crocodile successfully, but in all likelihood, the hyena would use its brain and make a run for it, living to fight another day when the odds are better stacked. Number 9. Honey Badger so, we've been through some of the classics already, but now it's time to get to the real question. The one we've all been waiting for, could a honey badger defeat a crocodile? The honey badger is the most ferocious, angriest, most tenacious creature known to man. Aussie F1 driver Daniel Ricciardo carries the honey badger nickname because he's just that kind of racer. Never gives up, always brave, 
thick and glossy hair, huge claws and teeth, resistant to snake venom. You get the picture. Anyway, a honey badger is no match for a croc in size, weighing only around 35 pounds. But as we can see here, the honey badger simply does not give a damn about things like size. All that matters is just relentlessly, um, badgering its opponent until submission. Okay, maybe a full-grown Nile crocodile might be a little too much, but just look at this guy go at the crocodile in those reeds. And in another video, we can see a victorious honey badger trotting proudly away with a dead croc in its teeth. So there's no doubt the honey badger is like the mob boss of the animal kingdom. Better go pay your respects. Number 8. Python Pythons are among the largest snakes in the world, and some of the biggest kinds of python, such as the reticulated and Burmese python, are truly fearsome predators. These snakes are not venomous, but instead they use the power of constriction to kill their prey. They wrap themselves around their victim and pull themselves tighter and tighter. The python can sense the heartbeat of the poor animal, and it waits until the heart stops beating before then swallowing it whole. Much larger pythons would not eat anything much larger than a domestic cat on a regular basis, but they have been known to eat much larger things, including human beings, and you guessed it, crocodiles. Tackling a crocodilian is a risky business, even for a huge python, and a truly epic battle in Florida several years ago resulted in both animals dying. It was an alligator in this case, with the half-swallowed gator bursting through the python's body. Out in Australia, pythons are regularly seen swallowing crocodiles. Although this process can take up to five hours, that's a pretty long lunch. Number 7. Elephant You have to hand it to the crocodile. You ever hear the expression, eyes bigger than your belly? Meaning you think you're going to eat all that, but there is no way you're going to eat all that. Unless you are that tiny woman, who is the world's speed-eating champion, I don't even want to know what her secret is. Anyway, here's a croc with some serious ambition. At the watering hole, you can never really relax. Pretty much every watering hole in Africa comes with at least one massive set of hungry teeth ready to bite you on the trunk. And that's what happens here. A huge croc goes for a fully grown adult elephant, grabbing it by the trunk, which must really, really sting. Anyway, the one rule of Africa is no one messes with the elephant, because an angry elephant will stomp and gouge anything that makes it angry enough, which is just what happens here. No chance for the crocodile, the elephant wins every time. Elephants have been known to pick up crocodiles and toss them into trees 20 feet above the ground. If that's not pure strength, I don't know what is. Number 6. Baboon Seems like a pretty chill afternoon for this large baboon family, out with the kids, hanging by the mud pool, relaxing in the cooling yet murky waters. Only nothing in nature is ever relaxing, not even for five minutes. Out of the mud comes a hungry crocodile, and it makes a grab for one of the females, doing some pretty serious damage to her arm. But somehow the baboon breaks free, and the big baboon males decide to give this croc something to think about. They're not just going to let the crocodile get away with it, especially when they see a croc with a baboon baby in its mouth. With incredible bravery, the baboon attacks the crocodile and manages to recover the body of the poor baby baboon. At least the mother can say one last goodbye to her baby. In this pretty devastating day, for the baboons. In reality, a baboon doesn't stand much chance against a crocodile, but these primates are brave and smart and will defend themselves and their relatives with everything they can muster against the hungry reptiles. Nature sure is brutal. Number 5. Wild Dogs Wild dogs are pretty incredible animals, with some amazing social abilities that very few other species share, such as caring for their own sick and injured, as well as working together to be one of the highest efficiency hunters of all, with a very high proportion of hunts ending in a kill. But dogs are not averse to scavenging kills made by other animals, even if that involves some serious risk. 
Here, for example, the dogs have stumbled upon a dead giraffe, which has evidently been killed by a group of crocodiles in the watering hole. Spotting an opportunity to feast, the dogs begin working together to pull the giraffe out of the water and away from the crocs. As you might imagine, the crocs aren't super happy about this, and one big one goes up to try and intimidate the dogs. But these dogs show no fear, and they bark and snarl at the crocodile until it decides it's had enough of these dudes and just slinks back into the water, looking kind of weary at the whole situation. In the end, it seems like everyone gets a meal, so hey, share and share alike out there, and things will be a little more chill for dogs and crocodiles, although maybe not for giraffes. Number 4. Wild Boar a wild boar is basically just a hairy pig. What possible chance could it stand against the might of a crocodile? And I bet you one thing, crocodiles just love the taste of bacon. So good. Uh, anyway, things are a little more hectic than usual for this wild boar family, as they have a whole load of baby boars? B borlets? Um, running around their feet. To a crocodile, this is basically like a plate of chipotle with feet, an ideal midday snack. But if the crocodile thinks he's in for an easy meal, he's going to have to think again. The adult boars are ready to show they're a little more ferocious than Babe the Pig, and they go at the big croc with their sharp tusks. After a few charges, it seems like the boars have done enough to send the crocodile into retreat, and have managed to gather up their babies too. Those tusks are razor sharp, and even a crocodile is not going to risk getting one jammed into its flesh. A successful defense from the boars this time. Number 3. Buffalo the Cape Buffalo is sometimes known as the Black Death, since it posed such a threat to hunters in Africa in the past. They feared them as much as lions or hippos. They might just look like big cows with the haircut of an Edwardian dandy, but they are basically big black tanks with legs. Weighing as much as 1,750 pounds, a hit from those horns is enough to do devastating damage. Out in Africa, the buffalo goes head to head with the ancient crocodile pretty regularly. Crocodiles have been around a long time. In fact, they have been around longer than Africa has even existed. They've seen plenty of species come and go, but they will still try their luck with this massive beast. And more often than not, it turns out to be a bad idea. On this occasion, the crocodile lurks a while, weighing up whether to launch an attack. The croc goes for it and gets a buffalo by the face, which looks pretty painful. But the buffalo is so strong, it can drag a crocodile out of the water, walking backwards only using its face. After a while, the croc seems to realize it has bitten off more than it can chew, so it retreats into the water, leaving the buffalo the opportunity to make its escape. Number 2. Electric Eel Mama Alligator. She said, son, you are a ferocious predator. You can eat anything you want, big or small. If you like the look of it, just go ahead and chomp on it. Only there's one animal you should never eat, and that's the... Um, damn, I forgot which one it was. W well, the bad news for the alligator is that it was this animal, the electric eel. That That's the one this mom warned him not to try to eat, because these thick fish might look like tasty meals, but they are able to administer electric shocks, which they can deliver at up to 650 volts. That's a lot of electricity going into the body all at once, and it can stun and even kill a crocodile. As we can see in this video, the croc's body is shaking like a car tune. But that's a real electrical shock coming from the electric eel, which surely has the coolest natural defense system in the world. In under a minute, the electric eel has all but incapacitated the croc, and is able to slither away to freedom, while the crocodile learns what it feels like to be microwaved. Number 1. Shark 
Here's the big one, the top of the bill contest, shark versus crocodile. And let's take a look at the biggest and baddest ones, the saltwater croc versus the great white and the bull shark. First of all, since salties live part of their lives in the ocean, these encounters are actually more frequent than you might imagine, and usually the croc will have the upper hand. What it gives away in size and weight, it makes up for in ferocity, armor, and weaponry. The Great White has a pretty strong bite, but nowhere near as strong as you might think. And far less than a salty's bite, the croc's thick skin and murderous bite force could really damage a Great White, and injuries to the shark are far more likely to be fatal than ones sustained by the crocodile, which is a much hardier creature. A lost fin is death for a shark, but a three-legged croc will survive no problem. However, the sheer size of the Great White would make it difficult for the croc to really get a grip. A bull shark has a much more powerful bite than the Great White, but as we see in this footage, the croc will often still have the upper hand, especially if it can get a couple of good bites in. Great Whites and Bull Sharks are some of the most fearsome predators of all, but as fighters they would have a hard time against a crocodile. And thinking of running away? Think again! The croc is even faster in the water than the sharks. So while crocodiles have some weaknesses, especially on land, let's just remember that while they lose once in a while, in truth, this is probably the most badass animal in the world. Which animals do you think could defeat a crocodile? Have you ever had to deal with a person who reminded you of a honey badger? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!